This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Miss Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. And today we're doing something different with both of our horses. For the first time, we're asking them to connect in the warm up. And this is different. We've never asked them to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is isolate Trudy's half halts. So tell me the steps for your half halt. What do you do? Breathe in. All the way through my back to my seat to my lower legs. Ankles. That's Lower right. Legs. So, what she said is she's taking a breath where she feels it come up through her belly, her core, where she lifts up the front of her chest, brings her shoulder blades back, brings her seat slightly forward as she goes into her back, and completes it by going all the way down through your heel because you'll feel a lot of times your half halts may not go all the way down to your lower leg. And I just Oh, good, good. So now you're, that's, that's all that's important. That's a good thing. So what's happened is Trudy's now to the point where she's feeling where she's letting her horses disconnect in and out of transitions, which is exactly where she should be because they were both green horses. And now we're asking them to do more of a training level. That was nice where they stay connected mentally and physically at whatever level we can at this time. That was good. Good. Now, when you walked forward, your lower leg went back. So that tells me you weren't doing a half halt that went all the way through your body. So when you do your half halt, you might have to actually push your lower leg forward while you're doing it, a three second half halt. That's right. So now you're gonna add to your half halt. When you do a half halt, see if you can get her to pick up her back. That's where you're gonna add your leg. Like you're gonna just lightly touch her with your leg and see if you can get her to pick up her back more as she comes to the downward transition. Good, feel it picking you up different? Notice your legs were a little more forward to do that. That was good. All right, now we're gonna add the steps to connection. So you'll find, since we've never done this at the warm up before, she's gonna be holding on a rein on one side more than the other, probably. Not too bad today. Oh, good. So, so far. So, so far. far. <laughs> yeah, so far, that's right. So now you're gonna first supple her jaw. That's where you touch the rein and the horse should give. Good. On the inside, with your inside rein and leg, now, that's when the inside of the hind foot is off the ground of the horse. Good, take your time. See if she'll give you her neck. So first we're gonna ask her, Melody, listen to my inside rein. Soften at the jaw, soften at the pole. See if she'll release her neck. And of course the trick is to push your leg forward, think half halt, push your leg forward, think half halt, to get her to pick up her back as you do this. So we're also going to get her more used to using your inside leg. Sometimes you might have to bump her just a little bit more to keep her active on the inside hind. We're doing this so that we can uh, keep both of Trudy's horses from breaking at the canter, which is where they are right now as we go into riding them more connected. Good, good. Yes, now you're thinking about it. Okay, now we're going to check the outside rein and leg. So check, can she, will she soften on the outside jaw? You'll notice when you play with the outside rein and leg that she rebalances different. She comes under your back, your seat different. Yep, soften her jaw, soften her pole. Make sure her neck is loose. Push your leg forward and get her, as you do your half halt, push your leg forward and get her to pick you up from her back end, stepping under more. So our goal is to get Melody to step up from her back feet. There, there, did you feel her shift back? That was very nice. So now what you're doing is you're shortening her frame a little bit when you ask her to do a transition where she starts to sit down. Yes, now you're feeling when she starts dropping you, aren't you? All right, so tell me, when does she, is she dropping you right here? Bit, yeah. Good, half halt, push your lower leg forward as you breathe in and out. Soften her, especially with your outside rein and leg. Tell me when she gets thick in the base of her neck. Right there, that's right, that's when she's starting to sit. Okay, now you can go into a longer walk and see if you can keep her in this balance. She'll probably drop it right away because she's used to dropping her back. Feel it? Dropping her back. Good. When she drops her back, you're going to do another half halt. Breathe in. Lift up your chest. Bring your shoulder blades back. Sit deeper and you bring your seat forward slightly. Bring your legs forward and see if you can get her to rebalance underneath of you as you do the steps to connection. Yep. Yep. Do short, slower steps. Slower. Supple her more. Suppling is when she's doing the steps to connection. Supple. There. There. Praise her. Praise her. Feel her trying? Very good. Then let her flow. 
Now she's only going to hold it about two steps. She dropped it after about two steps. Well, that's what they do. They drop it about two steps. So it's okay. It's nothing that we're going to punish or anything. You just ask her again. You're going to, you'll just do a half halt where you slow her down. There, there, praise her. Let her go forward and see if she can stay in that balance. Very nice, Trudy. She's going to drop it right here. And again, we've never done this in the warm up with her, right? Keep her neck straight. So if her nose starts coming too much to the inside, that's you using more inside rein and leg than outside rein and leg to keep her supple. Yep, yep, supple her more with your outside. If she's twisting her neck to the inside, you need to use more outside rein and leg. And we're using the outside rein and leg now. Now, on the outside, now. When the outside hind foot is off the ground, now. Good, good, take your time. Do more suppling on your outside. Your tendency is to supple more on the inside rein right now, which is fine because we want to supple her with your inside rein and leg so she stays against the outside rein and leg, right? But you need to have an outside rein and leg for her to go against. So you're going to play with feeling, are you sure you've got a connection on the outside? And you can do that with two or three strides, you know, where you keep her two or three strides, connect her to the outside rein, and then switch to the inside. Because most riders don't have the connection on the outside rein. I know. I mean, I know that's where it's supposed to be. That's right. That's good. Now you're thinking about her walk, aren't you? Now, she's not going to be sure about it, but that's where she is right now in her training. This is really different, especially since we started it right away. What are you feeling different in what you're doing with her for your warm-up now, Trudy? I feel more of the connection between whatever you call when you feel like your reins are alive. Yes. And I'm feeling more of that. Not that she's pulling. It's just that there's just more. She's seeking the she's contact seeking now. The contact. Oh, that's I, great. I do feel, you know, like when I take the half ball, I do feel her back come up underneath. So oh, that's, that is so huge. Now you're starting to feel her back come up with your half halt. Woohoo! It won't stay there for a while yet. Well, that's great. Give her a little walk break so she can take her mind break, and then we'll come back with the trot walk.